Let's get to Bob Pisani uh, shortly after the market opened on this Monday. Hey, Bob. Uh, Carl, uh, good morning. Happy Monday. Uh, Boeing, Microsoft, Apple weighing on the Dow, but a little bit of problem with tech in general here. So take a look at the sector. As Carl mentioned, the reflation trade is working a bit. So we got banks up, we got energy up, industrials, but semis in tech, this is just not working. It hasn't been working for a couple of weeks now. Look at the mega cap tech names here, not just the FANG names. You know, Apple's had a, a tough time in the last few weeks. Amazon uh, as well. Uh, Microsoft, NVIDIA, all these uh, tech names are to the downside today. I want to keep an eye on that. The big debate, of course, is inflation. How serious is it and what's going on with that? And can the Fed convince the markets it's years away from raising rates uh, and maybe from tapering uh, as well? Put up that full screen here. So how far can you do that? What's the inflation story? And how far is the, the reflation trade going to go at this point? It's had quite a run. Thank heavens for Janet Yellen. The street loves Yellen. They believe the go big uh, stimulus is going to work and going to happen. But look at the reflation trade already. We've gone a long ways. Energy's up 20 percent. The China trade, banks, copper, all up. Russell 2000. The defensive sectors are doing nothing. You know, consumer staples, utilities, health health care. If you put that up there, they're just kind of stuck doing absolutely nothing. Mega cap names, they're also uh, well off of their highs uh, as well here. I mentioned Amazon's gone nowhere. It's uh, high was back in August. Apple's high was a month ago. It's 10 percent off of its highs. So you see these stocks all moving to the downside. Uh, as for what's going on with uh, Jeff Immelt and General Electric watching uh, David's interview with great uh, interest, uh, those of us who are of a certain age uh, had a lesson to learn from this, and that is don't put too much of your 401k money in the company that you own. It was the only stock we were allowed to own. Of course, we were GE employees back then. Many of us uh, were very enthusiastic uh, about that. GE went from $7 in 1993, this is split adjusted, it split three times in the 90s, uh, to about $60 in the summer of 2000. And Carl, uh, there you see the outperformance of General Electric compared to the S&P uh, into the summer of 2000. Uh, and by three years later, it was $23 or so. So we all learned a very painful lesson, Carl, about investing uh, too much of your own stock, company stock in 401ks. Carl? Yeah, as, as some have have over time in various instances, Bob, thanks. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.